is the mainstream media gang against the Brexiteers. They call them all racist. I'm good, thanks. You know, they make fun of Donald Trump. They say he's got a one in a thousand chance initially. They're wrong on Brexit. They're wrong on Trump. Okay, and they're against people like you, and they're against people like me. Okay, and we cannot give up. We've got to continue. We can't stay quiet no longer. No, no. The people need to be stood up for in this country. Yes. People without a voice need a voice. Yes. Because a lot of people have the same opinions and morals that I do, yes. but they can't say it. Or if they yes. shout about it in the streets every day, no one will take any notice. Yes. But I can yes. say one thing, oh, and I'm the bad person. Yes. So, because I stick up for what the law says. Yes, exactly. And that's why. That's right. What kind of future do you see for Britain? It's a big question. It is a big question. Yeah. But, you know, I think what this country needs is to concentrate on what we have here already, yeah. rather than foreign policies, immigrants, all these yeah. things. Mm -hmm. Now they're important, mm -hmm. but we have major disaster here. Yeah. Living amongst us, our own people who's born and bred here, yeah. our own countrymen are dying of hunger, they've got no shoes on, yeah. they're homeless, they're starving. We've got, well, this is the capital for drug abusers and alcoholics, Morgan, mm -hmm. because they send them from all over the country to here. Because it's a, um, it's a cheap place for the government to buy homes, okay. Lancashire obviously, yeah. for a million pounds you can't really get a lot up London where you can get nothing, a one bedroom apartment book, but down here you maybe get 20, 30 apartments or something like that, so they send them all here. I'd like to, I'd like to see that, I think. I'd like to slightly see power to the people like the, the, the normal working class person, yeah. to have more of a say rather than just the, the higher society. Well, Donald Trump now, although he was he was born into millions, yeah. he is like a working class man, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Although he's a billionaire, yeah. he is one of the typical working class blue collar yes. Americans. Yeah. Yeah. And they vote him in. So they put him on top, and that's what mattered in the end. So if we could get the same type of structure in this country, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it'd be for the better. Yes. Yeah. I've, been, I've been doing a little bit of watching of it. I'm a sports yes, yes. Because he's a boxing fan more than anything. Mm -hmm. And because he's not too mighty flighty to come down here and have a coffee or go on a little as a part-time movie actor or anything. He's up for anything. And that's the type of person I think should be, uh, should be running the country. Not just a select, say, ten individuals who have a little conversation, nobody is, and they make the decision because they don't trust the public's opinion. Yeah. They don't think that the average man on the street can make decisions for his own self. Whether it's in boxing or global, it means change. Well, it's been nice uh, speaking to you about all this, and I'm very interested. I'd like to uh, I'd like to see you get elected. I would. Because you're, you're young, you're fresh, you're a good looking fella. Get out there. Not as good looking as you know, I used to be good looking, but that's the yeah. Get out there and get speaking to the people, the real people of this country.